Good morning and thanks for joining me. You might be able to tell from the church bells that it's a Sunday. Today I'm going to start preparing the engine bay for painting. This is something I have spoken of. The plan is to remove two of the batteries from inside the cabin and put them inside the engine bay so that all four leisure batteries are together. I did do some prep work in the engine bay last year but that was before I had fixed the weed hatch cover which had been leaking. So after I'd done that work water was still getting in via that route and spoiling what I'd done. But uh, that was just a, a brief start that I made at that time. I'd only concentrated on one side which is actually by coincidence the side where the batteries are going to go. One of the problems I have is that the engine bay often has some water in the bottom of it. The reason for this is that an original large deck board cover has been split into two and no drainage provision made. <laughs> so when it rains heavily and there's no cover on the back of the boat, water will seep into the engine bay. That is unavoidable and it is a bit of a nuisance. Uh, during my recent cruise, I had a lot of water in the bay <laughs> just sort of swishing around. Not sufficient for the bilge pump to <laughs> run and <laughs> get rid of it, but uh, these sort of things happen, don't they? Where this split is through here, this is where this larger deck board has been cut. Originally it was a single board. And when I lift it up and show you what's beneath, you'll understand the problem with water ingress. This board at the back gives access to the weed hatch. I did some work around here last year. I renewed the seal between the top cover and the actual box. So I need to move things out of here to get us going. This is the chain, it's the anchor. Quite heavy. Oh. Around the edge here is a drain channel. So any water that gets down through the sides of the decking run into this channel and then out through the hole in this corner. You can see here where this angle iron has been welded in, ready to support the batteries that are coming into the engine bay alongside the other two batteries. After I had done the work last year, not realising that the seal around here wasn't good, this area started to get wet again. I just don't know why I didn't appreciate at the time that the wetness that was coming onto here was from the weed hatch. But hopefully that's all sorted now. I'm not aware of any problems that I've had whilst I've been cruising. So I need to tidy this area up in here and get it repainted. And likewise on the other side. I think the best thing to start with is to show you around the engine bay <laughs> and tell you what's involved. This support bar has no drainage provision. So water that gets in between the two boards along here will be able to drip down into the engine bay. I should also mention that the step down into the boat drains to the bilge. I did drain out the bilge yesterday using a wet and dry vac, but um, I obviously can't get all the water up because as the boat rocks a little bit more will, will reappear as it were and it does take a while for it to dry out once you've drained it. In the back corner there you can see a cylindrical mark where the water cylinder was located. I think I might have some difficulty getting in there for the purpose of rubbing down, drying it, <laughs> giving it treatment and so forth and painting it. 
in particular the sighting of these switches is not going to be overly helpful and the cabling from the point of view of dealing with the batteries for now I don't need to worry too much about the bilge but obviously if I'm trying to clean up ready for painting it does make sense to give it some attention the main concern is to get that corner ready for the batteries to be relocated there. I think to start with I'll just while I brush it by hand I think a lot of the light rust staining isn't very deep and I might just be able to clean it up without too much fuss. I think the work I did in this area last year has held very well. It may look a little bit untidy with some light rusting, but it is all very superficial. So I think with a, a clean up, I'll be able to give it another coat of red oxide primer before giving it the gray top coat. I've been using a product called Furtan for dealing with the rust. It's a special rust treatment which you brush onto those areas that are rusty, leave for 24 hours and then wipe off. And I have found it a bit messy to deal with. But there is another product called Vactan. Now I have heard with this product you apply it to the rust and leave it and it's ready for priming and I think that would suit me a lot better so I think if I can get hold of this product called Vactan that would be a lot easier than using the one I have been using and as there are some areas of rust that I'm working around I think that's probably a good idea meanwhile I'm going to carry on with the corner where the batteries are going to go there's no reason for me not to get that ready so the next stage with that will be to give it the red oxide primer. I'll just clean it down first with the white spirit. I've decided that I'll just use a brush. I think it will be easier than messing around with a roller and a brush. But uh, if I don't get on well with a brush, I will revert to using a roller as well. I've actually remembered I've got a long handled roller from when I did the painting in the water tank. So I think I will use that. It will be easier to get in the corners with. Well, it's not easy to film and paint or paint and film <laughs> especially in a very confined space I've been using three different cameras to do the filming I've been using a GoPro and two different Canon cameras the GoPro I've mounted on a mag mount this is what I use on the bow of the boat 
and it will click to uh, anything magnetic. I've been using this in various places. There's no screen with this, so I don't know what I'm filming, but I just do the best I can. So I hope that whatever I've produced has give you an idea of what I've been up to. If I gave you one guess as to what I'm going to do now, I'm sure you'd be right. It would be a late lunch and a cup of tea. Well, I've got my cup of tea. Can't beat a cup of tea. And I have a cheese topped roll with cheese in the middle of it. Can't go wrong. It's now a couple of days later and I'm going to paint that corner where I was working where the batteries are going to go with the bilge paint. I've got some T-Mac grey bilge paint which I'll be using. Just want to get that corner really finished and then I'll think about other aspects of the boat but for the time being just want to get that done. The bilge is drying out nicely you can see where it's dry and where there are still some moist areas but given time that will be fully dry and I'll be able to get it prepared for painting. This is the area I'm concentrating on today. Just realised I had the wrong shirt on. I prefer to have a long sleeve shirt on when I'm doing this sort of work <laughs> so I've done a quick change. I think it might be easier to start with to have this other deck board in place. this on top and have a little bit of comfort. <laughs> I've used this tin before so there's about a quarter gone from the top of it but once I've mixed it in it should be fine. I'm using a cheap short handled roller today. The roller I used yesterday which was longer <laughs> was a bit cumbersome actually so it'd be easy to reach in with a short roller. Well I'm nearly finished now, which is good. Just doing the finishing touches now. Well, I'm pleased to say that little corner is finished. It's been very difficult operating the cameras with gloves like this on. <laughs> you just can't touch the buttons to get them to operate properly. Anyway, I'm going to have a little break from painting. I'll be going away uh, in the next day or two. And then I'll have to continue when I get back. There's going to be quite a few interruptions from now onwards. But uh, little by little, I will get there. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.